Lubic is standing very wide, isn't he, at serving to that centre mark. Quite wide of that to get it out on the backhand side. Yeah, he had a wonderful forehand there, Lubicic, as well. It was very understated, but uh, certainly not a bad return from Songa. I mean, you would expect, given how wide he's serving, and and he got it out there, Lubicic, that he'd be looking to run around his backhand to the forehand, but uh, he managed to uh, read the return and put Songa under pressure straight away. So much of his success has been on hard courts and uh, on this surface more of a problem for him perhaps to be safe with his footing assured of that. Again, Songa unable to launch the ball as he would like there. And Lubacic further ahead. Yes, and he hasn't actually had to do too much, has he, Lubacic? He's uh, put balls in court, he's uh, done the basics uh, nicely, but certainly nothing spectacular. Songa not really getting going as of yet. flexing his knee here. A little too often for my liking as well, Songa. Ah. If it is sore, maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why he is taking a fairly he's decent he's cut at a lot of the out. shots here, that he's trying to keep the points uh, shorter. Doesn't want to stress it any more than he has to with the French Open coming up. Storming return, Just punched it back, great angle. It is a good return, but at the same time, Lubacic would be disappointed not to make a decent return off that type of serve. It was medium pace, it was just the sort of width that he'd like. He doesn't want to see too many of those though. 30, 15. Again, able to drive it back with interest right onto the toes. Yeah, Sunder not really getting the ball to move uh, that much off the surface with his second serve. Down the middle suited him better. So a second game for the Frenchman. But it is Lubacic with the advantage at the moment in this opener.
One or two concerned Temple. looks at Songa so far today with a bit of a knee problem. And certainly some problems dealing with the power of Lubicic's serve. More effective at the moment from the Croat. Of course, it was his uh, right knee last year that uh, was the problem, and the year before that as well. Uh, twice against Simon, he's had to pull out with a, a right knee injury in Casablanca in the same event, Songa. But, uh, he'll be hoping to make sure that he's fit and healthy for two majors that he missed last year, the French and Wimbledon. And a real concern for French in particular that their leading four men will not feature come the Grand Slam just around the corner. Of course, Gasquet, as we know now, suspended. Monfils struggling with injuries, Seymour struggling with his game, and you can see what Song is doing today. Oh, everything right but that. 13 now. Yes, and only that was important. The rest of getting it right in the end was uh, really academic. That was a disastrous backhand from Songa. Was it the bounce? Just misjudged it. I think uh, Monfils has signed up to play uh, at the men's event in Eastbourne on the grass before... Uh, Wimbledon, so uh, maybe that's a, a positive indication that he's going to be back in time for maybe the French, but if not, certainly it looks as though he's uh, returned to the courts, is imminent. I was just wondering, Barry, whether Peter Fleming, who said yes, that he would have pay, he'd pay to watch Songa, whether he'd like to be on one of those sort of different tariffs, you sort of pay per minute, pay as you go, <laughs> just to see. You don't want to get a full whack on the ticket, just, you know. In increments. Hedge your bets at the moment. Yeah? Well, he did come back from a set down to beat Lubicic in Australia at the start of the year. Oh. Well, I know a lot of you are quite keen to see Peter Fleming up on the table dancing, so we'll see if we can perhaps fit that in in between sets. It's a sight, I can tell you. Even late at night. No need for the volley to follow up that big serve. Some are knuckling down, but still a break behind. Second round action continuing in Madrid at the new Magic Box complex. James Blake also in action at the moment. He's uh, doing well following up his runners up appearance in Estoril last week. He's set up and 2 1 with Demo. a break against Victor Hanescu of Romania. Blake in the same quarter as uh, compatriot Andy Roddick making his return this week after his honeymoon. His first match to come against uh, Tommy Haas. Such a huge. You see how high that ball got up the back of that advertising board. It was almost over. Fabio Fonini.
plucked it out of the air. Fine technique here. Iron the ball, took it back well, really pre prepared for it. And as yet, no answers from Songa to that big serve that keeps whizzing past him. And Fanini watching at close quarters might be wondering how he's going to deal with Lubicic if it is Lubicic who goes through and he joins him in round three but at the moment it is the crowd on course for the next stage of these championships long way to go though Songa will certainly still feel he's in this match if he can just uh, get that one break back Good change up, good disguise, and although Lubicic reacted as best he could, unable to deal with this. Seen him uh, hit quite a few winners, Lubicic, hitting this particular fake on the forehand, looking like he's going to go cross court and then just managing to slide it up the line, but not that time. in the first yeah. strike with yeah. a fine return. Dirty. Another Croat-French contest going on at the moment. Karlovic and Beneteau doing battle there once at all. They won. Third job. So he hands a set point to his opponent with that first double of the day. Well, nice. what a good response. Yes, and in many ways that's been his uh, most effective serve down the tee on that side and into the forehand. His father Didier watching. Oh. It's been a little bit like oil and water this one so far, hasn't it? Really uh, 
mixed together, these two. It's good to see him land one of those. He's missed many, but that keeps him in the set for the moment. Difficult so far for Songa to do anything against Lubicic's serve. In fact, the Croat has won 11 out of 11 points on his first serve and 5 out of 6 on his second. So what can the Frenchman do to uh, reduce that effectiveness? Because it has been mighty effective from Lubicic so far. And he's serving for this opening set now. Well, he will hope that uh, the first serve percentage drops a bit as well here, the Frenchman, because uh, Croat's serving at 65%. Roots one again from the juice court, standing very close to the centre mark on that side. can affect the outcome of this game, uh, Songa, by uh, connecting with a few of the shots that he has failed to do so far. But uh, again, he's a little bit reliant on mistakes from Lubicic, you feel, to uh, be successful in this game. Point played by both of them. Lubicic dominating it. Songa run ragged in the end, but a great effort still to try and recover the situation. Very methodical once again from Lubicic. Really understood what he was trying to achieve in this rally and uh, got it done. Wasn't the most convincing of uh, final volleys, but it was good enough. And with that, a couple more set points to him. 14-15. A very good first set from the older man. And Songo with uh, plenty to ponder as they sit down. We're not going entirely according to plan for Joe Wilfred Songa at the moment. One or two issues for the Frenchman. And as you'd expect, Peter Fleming is tempted to ask for a refund at the moment. It could all change. Back to Mark and Barry. Some of the Songa energy required the magic to uh, light up this Number two arena at the Magic Box, it would be good to see. First things first, hold this serve again. And lands again, a good forehand. Cost him that third game of the opening set when he missed a few in succession and it allowed Lubicic to get the break he needed. Oh. 
Ljubicic had a slow start to 2009, but beginning to uh, gain some momentum, and certainly a win here would push him on a bit. Positive start so far from his opponent. Did well to duck out of that one. Decent start then to the second set for the French ninth seed, who made uh, far many more unforced errors than winners in the opener. But can he build on this now and uh, turn it around? Merrick Winogradsky coaching him for some years now. A, a contemporary of yours, Mark. Uh, what kind of player was he? Yeah, he was a little bit of a servant volley, a bit of a typical sort of French player, a bit of flair as they all do. But uh, yeah, he used to uh, try and uh, come in a fair bit. Played him in doubles one year at Wimbledon. I think against uh, Barami. I think I'm right in saying it was the year that they might have made the final of the French as well. Puts him behind on serve for the first time. Yes, and actually he has showed good touch uh, in the forecourt in uh, recent weeks, Lubacic. And a bit of an aberration for him. in doubt straight up the middle it's always a good play and uh, even if your opponent is there they don't really have a lot of angle to work with to get it past you so if you are alert at the net you should get another chance to finish off the point Hit it better than that into the corner. And trying to create something here now. And this is the thing about Songer as well. I mean, he's not playing particularly well, but that's also due to the way that Lubicic had just kept him frozen out. But uh, there's always danger lurking around the corner with somebody like Songer because he just suddenly can connect with a couple of uh, big shots like that. And through no fault of your own, you suddenly find yourself in trouble. Again, it's a mighty heave at that forehand. But 
once again. Not to his liking, the timing off on that occasion. And Songa gets him to juice. A couple of good slice backhands kept him in that. As close to the net as he was, he did well, Lubicic there, and just a reaction shot from Songa. Looking a little agitated, isn't he, Songa, at the moment? Yes, and that comes out presumably from the frustration of trying to prize open a, an opportunity against this guy's serve because it is so heavy. And for the most part, today, been very accurate. And here is the chance. Decent enough return, and then the second shot that did the damage up the line there. Maybe that was the reaction, uh, or the reason why the reaction came from Lubicic, that the, the ball skidding off the line and just caught him unawares. with the chance to power his way through, does so. And it's a sort of atmosphere as well that uh, gets in your mind a little bit. And I think you can see that with Lubacic. He sort of shrugged the first one and then again there, almost as though this little bit of altitude here has just put him off and uh, just put his radar out. Usually so good at sticking that ball to a length. Good job at keeping Songa quiet in the opening set, but the Frenchman now coming out of his shell here. Dealt with some difficult angles early in the rally, 
and then getting back behind Lubicic took his position well at the net and how quickly this match has turned around suddenly uh, Songa seemingly in the right place all the time Burnt again by that backhand return. 14, More on that serve, but still Lubicic there, waiting to pounce. Three games in a row, though, for Joe Wilfred. And commanding lead in this second set, trying to take them to a decider. Miles around this second show court uh, more for Songa fans to enjoy certainly with his progress in this second set after losing the first there's something for James Blake to smile about as well he's won through in the third stadium he's beaten Victor Hanescu 6-2 6-4 and he'll now face either Ivo Karlovic or Julian Beneteau Karlovic trying to hold his serve at 2-3 in the final set against the Frenchman there Those guys I've mentioned could be a third round opponent for Roger Federer if Federer gets past Robin Sodling today. Zero kids. Yeah, and uh, that's not necessarily going to be all that easy. Sodling, uh, a very impressive winner over Igor Andreev in the opening round, and the sort of conditions here with the way that he plays. Sorry, that was uh, his initial opponent, Ivan Navarro. He uh, came through against, obviously, uh, Robin Solin, but the, the way that he plays in these types of conditions, I would imagine that would, could turn out to be a, a bit of a tussle for the world number two. Sweet touch. And he had to uh, hit it again and again, didn't he? Good defence from Songa. Yeah, the match uh, coming alive now. Some uh, interesting exchanges between these two. It was all a little predictable early on, but that's certainly not the case now. there for Songa and elected to go for more of a, a safe shot really tried to load it up with spin rather than sort of flatten it out as uh, he has been you can see that by the way he took his uh, racket head up past his right ear rather than across his body Feathers it, just took a little bit of the tape. 
and crept over. Iguales. Well, yes. Again, just caught enough of it and a good steer. So much harder for Lubicic holding on to this serve in the second set. And the Croat down below 50% on first serves in play in this second set, which is contributing to his problems. Uh, gone awry for Lubacic. Usually such a dependable shot. Rating his lack of a pass there, but tough to make that shot. Well, and to be honest, Lubicic could have hit this anywhere. Does well to get it inside the line there. Carlos Bernard is the umpire. Has he paid to watch this? I don't think so, but maybe he's just checking up on Mohamed Lani to see what makes him the most popular umpire. Look at the umpires doing scouting these days. Well, 
abuse. It was very negative, wasn't he? Walking back after the last point, but took a little extra time on that and lands a fine serve to get himself out of that break point. So the battle won on that game. So we're going to have three to one. Performer world number three, this guy, of course, and back in 2006 when he was at the, the height of his powers, he made the semis at Roland Garros. Just wondering if we're going to see a, a resurgence from Lubacic this year. Certainly some indications of better things from him. Yeah, he got hampered a little bit last season by uh, an injury that he picked up a woman into his uh, sort of hamstring. And uh, that certainly contributed to some of his uh, poor runner form. Also the fact that he's uh, stepped down from uh, the player counts as well, which took up uh, a lot of his time, took that job very seriously. recently you know, it's his family first and tennis second and then it was the uh, tour job third and he said that wasn't fair to uh, the tour that he was uh, placing it that far down the list Fifteen on. Well enough, moved round the ball and loves to go after that shot. Such a difficult shot to defend against as well because it's so flat. I mean, it just gets straight through the court. You see there, but he gets depth on it as well. And uh, very few players are going to be able to come up with an effective shot against that. All that. the line didn't it or did it just not clay onto the line don't hedge your bets what was it it was good catching here coming like this yeah you feel so much better now you said that <laughs> songa leads 4-1 more of a buzz around the arena which is a good thing some atmosphere for these two to uh, play within more than we had at the start certainly I think that's a general murmur people talking in the break <laughs> air conditioning noise as well <laughs> Salvador Sosa there behind uh, Ricardo Piatti Lubacic trainer well, his uh, skills may come to the fore as we head towards what looks to be a deciding set Deserves one. Fifteen love.
Well, Lubacic is really aware to that type of return from uh, Song. He's had a, a little bit of success with the Frenchman when taking it up the line, but pretty limited, to be fair, because uh, Lubacic isn't ducking over to his backhand side. He's waiting for it and immediately taking control of the rally and finishing it off sweetly. Reminiscent of the opening set, Lubacic carving through his service games. Looks down at the court the surface and didn't like the balance on that shot. So Lubicic will hold again. Just the one break advantage still for Songa in this second. Karlovic and Beneto still battling in their third and final set on court seven. Four games all now in that. Yeah, Beneteau's had some chances as well, I think, to... Uh, break in the final set as has uh, Karlovic but need the man managing to get through close you've got to slam the brakes on or get yourself in quickly here otherwise what should be an easy routine play suddenly becomes difficult but uh, Songa making a good job of it also got to time your slide right because you get there and then slide you're not losing the point when your foot hits the net Backhand troubled him early in this set, but he's hit a couple of good ones lately. That's uh, one of the best. And, uh, different direction. Songa not expecting that. Beneteau just dropping his serve for the first time in that match against uh, Karlovic. Flew off the corner. So Karlovic enjoying things more at the moment than uh, 
Lubicic. James Blake probably just went, oh no. Kalovic will be serving to face him in the next round. Out it goes, and Songa, one more step required to take his way, and take them both into a third and final set. 5 2. Fans waiting to see if Songa can uh, force his way through to a decider. The Frenchman winning well yesterday against Marat Safin, a match that never really hit the heights. He did certainly his part in getting through in straight sets, but uh, today. Harder battle against Lubicic, the uh, Croats' big serve booming at the start. It's uh, been broken once in the second, been threatened more than once in this second set. And Lubicic will be out to serve again to try and stay in the second at 2-5. Slow things down with that, change it up completely, and uh, misjudged. News that Kalovic has just gone through 3 6 7 6 6 4. He's beaten Julien Beneteau of France, and he will now face James Blake of the United States. In the works, 15 on. 21 aces as well. Kalovic serving in that match. And for Federer again, like he had in, in Rome, it's going to be a case of uh, some big servers to face rather than out and out clay quarters. Andy Roddick also in the same quarter. Yes, I don't think Roddick will be looking towards the quarterfinals just yet and no. uh, <laughs> booking his place. Tommy Haas in his opening match, that's no uh, easy encounter. <laughs> and he might have Davidenko after that, so... 14, 15. Tough all round there. <laughs> Plenty of time to set it up. Well put away. It's Songa now, his turn to put this set in the bag. He's done everything he can do in this set. Uh, Lubicic has uh, been competitive. He's still just a single break behind. So uh, a real luxury here for uh, Songa. Just the opportunity. Oh. 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 Oh.
Okay, that's something. But uh, just away. Even so, his first set percentage has improved in this second set. It needed to. You get a sense here from Songa. I mean, big second serve to offer up the double forward. I'm not sure he needed to really do that up 15, love. And there, uh, again, pulling the trigger into the thin part of the court. But he's been very effective when he's hit his off forehand. <laughs> Made the return somehow. Lubicic got onto that. 40, has the chance 30, to break back. 40. What we're seeing here is how slender a one break advantage can be. Let's be fair to Lubicic, he was leaning towards his forehand and uh, quite often Songa has uh, managed to uh, get him with the one down the tee there so he was anticipating it but it didn't come. I believe he missed that shorter ball from Lubicic there to put away, but again, just too much behind it. And his advantage slips from his grasp with that miss hit. Lubicic is back on serve in this second four. set. Can Lubicic get out of this match in straight sets? He could still do that now, having got the break back. Joe Wilfred Songa talking to the umpire and uh, complaining about uh, the photographers, actually, one of them apparently distracting him with the use of his camera or her camera i'm not sure whom it was who was at fault but uh, it certainly was distracted he felt songa and uh, has said something to the umpire who has uh, motion to the photographers to perhaps be a, a little more respectful of the, the moment in the point when he's serving but now lubicic all eyes on him Into zero. Given a second chance in this set, can he make the most of it? 15 now. Service. 
Trenta zero, thirty-nine. We can quickly rectify the wrong Songa, but uh, once again, the critical part of this said he has uh, been found wanting. Some shot. <laughs> Nothing Songa could do with that. No, because that was a perfectly placed shot. Had Lubicic charged in, he would have been playing it off his shoelaces, but he didn't. He was much more cautious, and then uh, a lovely little bit of disguise on the single hander. Three games on the trot. Lubicic levels. Yeah, mentally, that's a fantastic recovery from Lubicic. He uh, managed to uh, just keep the deficit to one break in this second set when Songa was looking impressive and as though he was going to run away with it. And the Frenchman has uh, returned to type here at the end of the second set. This is a little bit like he played the opening set. Again, badly misjudged. Seen him do that a couple of times today coming in. Quince oh. Wallace, 15 on. with any sort of uh, decent level of consistency in the match Songa. Too many fluctuations. himself in a hole. Ricardo Piatti, Lubicic's longtime coach. Twitching and wondering. Can his man break here? Use. 
An awesome shot from Lubicic. Got the steer, the angle, and it flashed across the net. Well, this is the shot of the match so far. And Lubicic will be hoping it uh, brings him further glory as well. Yes. <laughs> He's floored him. He's broken him. Can Sunga pick himself up from here? It's 6 5 Lubicic in the second set. I think Joe Wilfred Sunga is okay physically. He took a big fall, didn't he? Stumbled into that. Sideline shot broken as a result, as you can see. It's drawn blood and uh, the break of his serve, second in succession, setting up Lubacic for the match. And he'll be asking questions of himself. How did he let this second set slip away? He was leading 5 2. He could have won it by then. He had all those break points in the fourth game, having already got one break, and his father clearly a little concerned to see. Sons faltering performance in the last few games. But Lubicic, to his credit, playing well when he's really needed to here. He's doing very well to break in succession. So Lubicic will look to land the four big serves and book his place in the third round. Putting everything into it to try and claw it back, but Lubicic stood his ground well. Gifts that one. 15, 13. Knowing he has the chance, did he tighten? Oh, 
Oh, yes. Firing himself up. I think Lubicic thought he'd missed the service box initially, then had to respond to an amazing return from the Frenchman. It was Songa who comes up trumps here. Outrageous drop shot from Songa as well. Completely unexpected. Look at the change in disguise on the ball there. And did he play into Lubacic's hands? He went after it, didn't he, Songa? Driving everything, but it took him to the net. And then Lubacic replied like that with the angle. Wallace, it was curtains for Songa from there. Okay, he's hit a couple of wonderful passing shots in the last two games. You can see how much it still means to Lubacic. Oh. Flirting with the sideline. But another winner means one more required. Same direction, but he didn't have the same commitment on that shot. So they're clinging on. <laughs> Is he going to get the umpire out to see this? He might as well. Uh, this one, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Wasn't sure which mark it was, but confirmation, acceptance on his part of that. So Lubacic again. The chance to end the match. Great play from Songa. And that's what you love about him. You would pay to watch that. Yes. Desperate times, desperate measures, flirting with disaster, but uh, pulling it off. And uh, it may be the stroke that turns this match around. 
Richard struggling a little bit in this game with his first serve. Very quick hands, terrific skill, and another point to break back. And he is certainly dangerous when he gets inspired, Tonga. That was a glorious shot and not easy to produce as well, no matter what the scoreline. And even more impressive considering uh, he's almost down and out. So far back and out wide. Use. Serve doing the damage there, saving that break point. Tonga couldn't get any depth on the ball. And Lubicic took his moment, took it well. Yeah, you almost got the sense that uh, Songa was trying to bring in Lubicic the way that he was playing that rally. For the third time then, round three beckons for the former world number three. And he's there. A fine win. Lubicic getting a top 10 scalp. Been a while since he did that. But another step taken for him in Madrid. And Songa will bow out of here and turn his thoughts to Roland Garros around the corner. Yes, and hopefully uh, be fit and healthy for that one. He's going to need to be on this surface. His least favourite surface, really, Songa. We saw uh, the reasons why in this match, but once again, Lubicic impressing on the red clay. Yeah, he's had some memorable moments on the red stuff in this particular swing. And that is a really respectable, not perhaps the word, but uh, certainly a very appreciated victory as far as Ivan Lubicic is concerned. But a shame for the many Songa fans out there He's a great entertainer. Good look. So he might just break back towards the end of that last game, didn't it? Two wonderful winners. One with power, the other with craft. But not quite enough. And Lubicic lives to fight another day. Andy Murray against Simone Bolelli in just a few minutes' time. Before we look ahead to that, do you feel you did get value for money from Mr. Songa tonight? Yeah, in just a few moments of Songa lighting the court up is enough for me. I mean, it, it, OK. It wasn't his best performance. It wasn't the sort of thing from start to finish that, that we've come to, to know from him. Uh, but that's the beauty of Sangha. It's totally unexpected. You have no idea what might come next. And, and uh, OK, it wasn't his best, but uh, that's life, isn't it? Uh, presumably his best is going to come on other services. Yeah, I, I think hopefully he will stay fit through the French and, and when he gets on to grass, he will be a nightmare because he's a bit of a grass court specialist and he hasn't really been fit uh, the last couple of Wimbledons, I don't think. And so if he is feeling 
good and he's certainly confident. Uh, he's a guy who could go very, very deep. Ivan Lubacic, the wrong side of 30 now, but he's produced a couple of good wins over the what past What do you mean wrong years. side of 30? Well, he's he's, he's a very 30. mature player now. <laughs> that's, that's the nice way of looking at it, yeah. He's, he's a, an OAP in he's, tennis terms, though. Yeah, just about, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, but he's still got something. He has a great serve, and he's always had a, 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 a good court craft. He, he knows how to construct points and, and can do that. Um, and I think, you know, when he still gets up for it, he's, he can play very good tennis. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he plays against the likes of Gilles Simon, who he just may uh, play in the next round if Simon beats Fognini, um, because Simon will demand a lot more of him. He will, he will put a lot more balls back into play. Yeah. OK, well, that's one perhaps to look forward to in a day or two. We'll start looking ahead to Andy Murray's match uh, in just a moment. First of all, here are the...